There are lots of operations that happens behind the scenes when we run the Terraform commands, Terraform plan, and Terraform apply. In this Lightboard session, I'll try to demystify these operations. So let's get started. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get the latest videos. And now we can start. Let's learn in this Lightboard session how Terraform works. We typically use Terraform to manage our infrastructure as code. So we typically use the different Terraform commands. First, we we'll start with Terraform init. Those are the most used uh, three commands in Terraform. So we we'll start with init. That will go to initialize the providers. Either you are using Azure or AWS or uh, GCP. So that will download those different providers into your local machine. And after that, we we'll start uh, initializing or restart planning for the changes that we want to apply. So for that end, we typically use the command terraform plan. And with terraform plan, we can, can add some parameters, for example, like to say out and then specifying the name of the terraform plan file that will be generated. And after that, at the end there, we go to apply that uh, configuration using another command, which is terraform apply. And for Terraform a plan, apply, we can uh, pass that TF plan file that we have generated that contains the changes that should be pushed into our environment. So let's say in this case, for example, I want to deploy to a cloud provider. Let's say I want to deploy my Amfra into Azure, for example. So I would have Azure right here. That's my cloud Amfra. And then I will write my uh, Amfra as code. So for that, I'll be using some Terraform uh, files. So we would have here some config files like the main.tf, provider.tf, and many more files. So now what I want to do is that to apply this configuration right here, where here maybe I have created a virtual network, a virtual machine, uh, some IKS clusters, and so on. And I want to apply that Amfra into my Azure environment. So that will pass actually through some steps, through four steps exactly. So first of all, when we run that Terraform uh, plan, that will go to generate a Terraform, the TF plan file right here. So that will be generated in here. So this means we would have a plan that is TF plan that have a format JSON. This TF plan will contain the changes. So if you have already deployed your Amfra here, then you go to make some changes into those main TF files. Those changes will be reflected here. So for example, if you have a virtual network that have one subnet and then you add a second subnet, then in the next deployment that will go to deploy only that second subnet because the Amfra already exists. So with that uh, TF plan contains the changes, but now the question is how did those changes um, created? Actually, in Terraform, we do not compare this main TF file against the Azure infrastructure directly. We go through another component of Terraform that is the Terraform state. So that means in here, I would have another file, a large file actually, that is typically called Terraform state. Terraform state, that's like the database for Terraform that contains the existing infrastructure. So in this case here, actually, the main TF will go to generate this TF plan after it will uh, perform a compare operation with this Terraform state. So now let's go to draw the entire workflow. So first of all, when I go to run that Terraform plan, the first uh, step that will be run here is to refresh the content of the Terraform state. Remember, Terraform state contains the existing Amfra in a Terraform file. So that Amfra will be compared against the, the, uh, my real Amfra deployed in Azure. So here, uh, at first step, we would have this refresh operation. And that is the step number one. Why we perform that uh, refresh operation? That's actually because uh, maybe meanwhile, I'm working on this uh, uh, main TF. And meanwhile, I have some changes made into that Azure Amfra that could be made by some other cloud um, uh, 
operator or by some policies that are changed my config and so on. So we need to make sure that always we, what is described inside the Terraform state file is exactly what is in Azure. So for that, this operation will run immediately and um, even before uh, generating the TF plan. When we run that TF plan file, you will see on the Terraform output console some refreshing uh, operations, okay? Uh, it will go through all the resources described in the main DF and it will make sure that their configuration did not change uh, when compared to the existing TF state. And if we have some changes, they will be reflected here into the TF state and that will help for the next step where here we'll go to, as part of that Terraform plan command, the main TF will be compared with the Terraform state file. So from this here, would have a compare operation. And that is the step number two. And the result of that compare operation, so here I'm adding a new subnet, for example, a second subnet to my VNet, that uh, change will be reflected into the uh, TF plan file. So that uh, operation, Terraform plan, will go to generate this TF plan. And that generation are based on the uh, differences between the main TF and the Terraform state file. The result will be uh, this one. Okay, so this is going to be the step number three that will go to generate the TF plan that contains, for example, my second uh, subnet. Next, when I go to run Terraform apply, then here we have already all the changes here. We have compared with the existing infra and then we'll go just to deploy that infra into the Azure uh, cloud. So from here, we we'll go to run or we go to deploy the changes. And that is the step number four. So to resume, when we run Terraform plan, first you would have that refresh operations that will be done against uh, the uh, existing Terraform state file to refresh uh, if there is any changes that have been made in my Azure Amphra, they will be reflected in this TF state file. And then the second step will be to make a comparison between the main TF and between the Terraform state and the result of the changes will be reflected into the Terraform plan file. We have that Terraform plan next when we go to run Terraform apply, the changes will be deployed into my uh, Azure infrastructure. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.